R2U here. Um, I'm going to spend the day at the uh, Henry Dorley Zoo here in Omaha. Um, it just kind of uh, reopened somewhat uh, over Memorial Day weekend. This is Thursday after Memorial Day. The building on the left is the Desert Dome. That's the world's largest geodesic dome and the largest indoor desert. And then next to it is the Logier IMAX Theater. So let's go check out the zoo. Omaha's uh, Henry Dorley Zoo is a world-class zoo. It's consistently been rated as one of the top five in the world, not only uh, for its exhibits, but for all the conservation and animal research that they do. Um, as I said, there's been some construction work going on that's just been completed that I'm here to uh, check out. And uh, uh, that should bring the zoo's ratings back up again. First place we're going is the lead jungle, an indoor jungle. Nice and hot and humid in here. Mutual of Omaha, Wild Kingdom Pavilion. Next stop will be in the Scott Aquarium, which has been here for quite a few years. Um, but all these buildings to the right here are all new since the last time I was at the zoo. So we'll have to check that out after we check out the aquarium. When I was in high school, that was my job. Driving a tram like that, giving guided tours. These are the elephants that were uh, recently rescued from Swaziland, six of the 18. Hey, Delena, can you make sure he gets out? Yeah, even though uh, last Friday was supposed to be the kickoff day of all these new exhibits, there's still a lot of construction activity going on. And uh, the zoo has really changed. If you uh, have never been here, well worth the trip. And if you live in the area here and you haven't been to the zoo in a few years, it's well worth the trip. is a 5-8 scale model of the engine that the Union Pacific used building the Transcontinental Railroad. I remember 
one day it was up in the cab. It was like 106 out. And uh, so hot in the cab, I stepped out of the cab that I got a chill. Move along, move along. Get going. Quit filming me. We are uh, inside the aviary, which is a netted enclosure. On top of that hill is where Rosenblatt Stadium used to stand. Uh, if you're a College World Series fan, it was played there for many years. Uh, it's now north of downtown at TD Ameritrade Park, which uh, you've seen that quite a few times in maybe Thomas Eight's videos when he was heading to and from the airport.